quit baiting me. So I respond, a female isn't changing the battery of, say, a 2014 Silverado. The whole point I was trying to tell him is that, like, who do I want to box next? Uh, Tyson Fury. And so, the thumb man who cheated his diet outside Good Springs cheated his diet once again. After the Battle of London, many thought it was the push Richard needed to finally change once and for all. At first, tourists arrived in masses, showing support. Eventually, some got bored. Others left when Richard's true nature inevitably started to show once more. In the new world of Trailer 101, team bullying continued. Pepsi was spilled and many laughed and enjoyed, just as they had in the old world. Because wings, wings never changes. No, I didn't make the thumbnail myself, I pulled it off Google. I pulled that shit off Google. I put Rainbow Six thumbnails and grabbed one. I haven't got Boogie's play button yet, no. No, I'm, I'm, I'm having a debate with a guy because I don't want to use the term fighting because people automatically assume fighting is something nefarious. I'm still in some DoorDash groups and this this person asked, like, what's the cheapest, where's the cheapest place to get a battery? And, the, and it was a female that asked the question. And this guy comes like, anybody can change a battery. And I, so I responded to him, this isn't true. It's based on car model. Batteries got more complex and in safer spots as you get newer to newer models. And he responds back snarkily that unless it's a Tesla, I can change the battery. So I respond, I'm not doubting your skills, but a female isn't changing the battery of say a 2014 Silverado, which is way more involved than two top post terminals and a ratchet. <clears throat> I'm just trying to give level headed advice here. But like, I always read fucking people like that, like knuckle draggers. I don't know what car she has because she didn't state what car she had. <laughs> I, I actually don't fuck with Pikachu like that. Like he's not even my favorite Pokemon. But like, I liked him as a kid when like the, 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 the they used to have this cartoon that came on like right around when, when school got out. And like, he, and me and my brother would watch it and Pikachu was so fucking cute. They, Pika Pika! And like, so we were on like a Pikachu kick for a while. My brother, love him to death, but seems to think that every time it's time to give a gift, Pikachu's the answer. <laughs> this one I got from my grandfather at a carnival. This one I got for there, but like, but he, my brother gave me a numerous n amounts of Pikachu, and I don't know why he keeps going back to that. No, I haven't got Boogie sub button yet. Yeah, Blastoise is my favorite too. And I don't, don't ask me about any Pokemon past the first generation, because I don't know them. Like, I could name 60% of maybe the first generation Pokemon at this point in my life. <laughs> no, no. I'll quit playing the game before I play a standard character in Diablo 4. I'm good. Me and my wife, just a little, little sneak peek here, but shit, shit, shit happening behind the scenes other than Diablo 4. Me and my wife are going to be making a, a t-shirt. And we got a couple designs in mind, but... We're going to make a Rocco themed t-shirt. Like the the one I'm leaning towards right now is like a picture of Rocco wearing like the white boy chain. And like it says like big bands on the front or something like that. <clears throat> I would love to be a service advisor. The only issue is that that pinched nerve in my hip, which I'm currently trying to get fixed, makes it so I can't stand up for more than five minutes. What was the actual meaning of painkiller already? It's it's not deep. Back in Modern Warfare 2, um, there was these things called death streaks. So if you died two or three times, like you would get a death streak. You know, some of the death streaks would be like copycat, where you like steal the loadout of the person that kept killing you or whatever it might be. But one of the most popular death streak was a thing called painkiller, which basically made you invulnerable for about three or four seconds when you spawned. And some people would get painkiller so quickly that it was impressive. So like in lobbies, when, when Modern Warfare 2 was first out, you'd have people that were really good at the game scream the term, how's he got painkiller already? And like, that's where the name came from. Painkiller already. The podcast has lasted so fucking long that people don't understand the reference to the name. Like, honestly, I have a video that I've started filming. No. Starfield, from what I've seen, is nowhere close to Fallout or Skyrim. Like, idea is I take those shorts and put them in one of these. A shadow box. But I gotta, I gotta move Thermite at some point. I think I'm gonna move Thermite over here. Take the shorts. 
where Thermite is. Or maybe scoot all this over and move Grayson's tower away. Where are the gloves? I thought they we had to give them back. So, like, I took the gloves off and I don't know where the fuck they went to. Where Boogie kept his gloves. Which is funny, I knew Boogie kept his gloves because Boogie showed them off in a video. And there was a comment on that video that was gold. Those gloves are basically brand new. Never even got a punch off. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> you want to hear DSP tell me about cars? I mean, like, didn't DSP not change his oil because his car didn't tell him to change the oil? Peanut butter is not mid. Isn't the sun out every time DSP gets his mail? I mean, there might be a fly in my room. Why do we? You guys hate me talking about cars, and all you ask is car questions. You know you're gonna you're gonna bait me into talking about cars. Quit baiting me. Quit baiting. Let's talk about something more that people actually actually know about. Um, I don't know anything about the five liter V8 Jaguar, so I can't tell you with any certainty. But which Call of Duty campaign was my favorite? But my favorite was probably Call of Duty Four. And like, so you got you got you got to think of it. You got. I'm trying to play Rainbow, but I ain't got nobody on. Cheese is addicted to Diablo and I don't know where Chi God is so like that's the only two squads I got and so I'm trying to get like a like a band-aid together ranked team mm -hmm. but like at this side like unless people play rainbow like we're pretty much SOL thoughts on Diablo 4 it gets dull after a while like it's a lot of the same like the world like it's deep like there's builds that you could go into like with elixirs and all this other stuff but like I've gotten, I don't know, about 100 hours into it. But I've about put about two days into it since it came out on the 6th. And like, yeah, that's like a... Like, if I never touched it again, I'd be fine. But if somebody, if I needed to play it, because I nutsy need something to do, I'd play it. It's fine. Is it Diablo 2? No, it's not. Uh, kudos gaming. Who gives a shit, dude? Thoughts on the four Broncos? Overpriced ugly bricks? Grayson, go hang out with Bailey. Why? It's not cat time. It's rainbow time. I like how you guys are like, is that his new kitty? I've had Grayson for like six months less than I had Rocco. I'd rather it be in the U.S. I Honestly, like, London sucked. I didn't enjoy London at all. The food was terrible. There was a train strike. People were... People were fucking filthy, honestly. Like, like in Wembley, at least. Like, like... I don't know if this is a phenomenon in every major city and not just a London thing. I'm assuming it is. But, like, people would take, like, boxes of chicken and just throw them in the fucking park. they just throw them in the park and in the road and there'd be trash every morning. Who do I want to box next? Uh, Tyson Fury. I'll box KSI, too. I don't give a shit. Mm. <laughs>